Okay, welcome to today's video. So this is just the last part, part three of question 7b from the 1991 four unit HSE exam. And we did the other two parts, the first two bits in a previous video. So I suggest you go and watch that video if you haven't already. Okay, so part three. Question says, deduce that if alpha is a multiple root, then its multiplicity is two, and 4b equals 8 plus a squared. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is prove that uh, alpha is a multiple root of multiplicity 2. Okay, so if alpha is a multiple root, then it can either be a multiple root of multiplicity 2, multiplicity 3, or multiplicity 4, because there's a degree of 4, and so we should expect 4 roots. So first let's write down P of X has degree of 4, and so we expect to have 4 roots. Okay. Now, also in part 2, we showed that every time X equals alpha is a root, X equals 1 on alpha is a root. So, we can also write down, if x equals alpha is a root, then x equals 1 on alpha is also a root. Alright, so like I said before, if alpha is a root of multiplicity, then its multiplicity is either 4, 3, or 2. So let's consider the case when it's a multiplicity 4. So if alpha has multiplicity 4, so that means we have four roots of alpha. Alpha is a root four different times. So that also means that x equals 1 on alpha is a root four different times. So if alpha has a multiplicity 4, then 1 on alpha also has a multiplicity of 4. And so therefore, we have 8 roots. So we have 4 alphas and 4 1 over alphas. But this is not the case. We cannot have 8 roots because up here we said that the degree of P of X was 4. And so by the fundamental theorem of algebra, we should have only 4 roots. So we can't have alpha as a multiplicity of 4. So that was the first case. Let's have a look at the second case. If alpha has a multiplicity of 3, then 1 on alpha also has a multiplicity of 3. So we're using the same argument here as we did in the previous case. Right, let's move that up. So 1 on alpha has a multiplicity of 3 when alpha has a multiplicity of 3. And so therefore we have 6 roots. And again we can't have this case because we can have only four roots. So the final case, if alpha has a multiplicity of two, so that means one on alpha also has a multiplicity of two. So we have two alphas and two one on alphas, so therefore we have four roots, which is fine. We can have four roots, because we have a degree of four. Okay, so therefore, alpha has a root of multiplicity, multiplicity, two. All right. 
Now, what's the next part of part 3? It says, then if its multiplicity is 2, we have to also show that 4b equals 8 plus a squared. Okay, and should just note that these are related to the coefficients of the polynomial. So here we have to consider our sum of roots, our product of roots, sum of roots two at a time, etc. So, all right, let's just write down. We are required to prove that, what was it, 4b equals 8 plus a squared. All right. Now, if we consider the sum of roots, one at a time, that's going to be equal to, now minus the coefficient of x cubed, which is a, so we have minus a over the coefficient of x to the 4, which is 1, so that's just minus a, minus a, but what is our sum of roots? Our sum of roots is, well, we have two alphas, so we have alpha plus alpha, and we have two 1 over alphas, so we have plus 1 over alpha plus 1 over alpha, it's equal to minus a. So this is 2 into alpha plus 1 on alpha equals minus a, and so therefore alpha plus 1 on alpha is minus a over 2. Alright, now we need to involve b. So b here, this will get b using the sum of roots two at a time. Okay, so let's have a look at the sum of roots two at a time. And so the sum of roots two at a time will be positive b over one, which is just b. Okay, so the sum of roots two at a time will be alpha times alpha plus alpha times 1 on alpha, put these dots in, plus alpha times 1 on alpha again, so this is alpha times alpha, alpha times 1 on alpha, and alpha times 1 on alpha again. Now, alpha times 1 on alpha, plus alpha times 1 on alpha, plus 1 on alpha times 1 on alpha, and that's equal to b. Okay, we can simplify this a little bit. So here we have alpha squared. All of these alpha times 1 on alpha, the alphas will cancel and we'll get just 1. So we have plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Plus 1 over alpha squared. And that's equal to b. Okay. So here we have alpha squared. Now I'm just going to put plus 2 plus 1 over alpha squared, I'll put this in brackets, and then I'll leave the other plus 2 out here, and you'll see why I'll do that. Okay, so here you might be able to recognize this as a perfect square. So it's alpha plus 1 on alpha, all squared, plus 2 equals b. But from before, we have that alpha plus 1 on alpha is minus a over 2. And so we have minus a over 2, minus a over 2 squared plus 2 is equal to b. This will become a squared over 4 plus 2 equals b. And from that we can conclude that a squared plus 4 times 2 which is 8 equals 4b. And that's your final answer. So once again, this is just the last part of question 7b from the 1991 HSC exam. And if you haven't seen the previous video, you should go back and watch that video as well. Okay, thank you.